I'm Jumbo. Karibu ya Harambe. Hello everybody. Welcome to Harambe. And no, I'm not talking about the gorilla that tragically passed away in the zoo a couple years ago. I'm talking about Harambe in Africa, Disney's animal kingdom. I may have mentioned this before, but Harambe is probably my favorite land in any Disney park. Animal Kingdom is my favorite theme park and Harambe is my favorite land anywhere in Walt Disney World. I think this place is incredible. The theming is, I think the theming is probably the best in any park. I love it here. I love the vibe. I love everything about Harambe. So today I'm going to take you guys on a tour of Harambe because uh, there's a bunch of tiny little details this land actually has its own backstory and we're gonna explore Harambe see what we can find you guys are gonna learn some Swahili on the way I've been learning Swahili this year just a little hobby I took up um, so I'm gonna teach you guys some Swahili this is a Swahili slash English speaking town Harambe uh, so we're gonna explore that and hopefully you guys enjoyed this and it's gonna be a good time I'm gonna show you around my favorite land in any Disney park so Harambe is a little port village in East Africa. It isn't based in a certain country, but it does take cues from Kenya and Tanzania. In Swahili, Harambe actually means to come together or work together. And that's pretty cool because if you look at the message of all of Animal Kingdom, uh, the message of Animal Kingdom is like kind of conservation and working together to help the earth and help animals. So it's kind of cool how Harambe means come together or work together. And that's kind of what the whole message of Animal Kingdom is. But unfortunately, back in the 1400s, just as it happened too many times, Harambe, just like many other African countries, was subjected to the ruthlessness of colonization. And the Dutch, some other European countries, came over here and colonized Harambe. And they actually used it as a military fort since it was on since harambe is located on the coast it's a port town uh, they used it as a military fort to protect uh, whatever they needed to do and you can see some remnants of that military fort like right here we got a cannon overlooking the water and as we walk around and i give you the tour of harambe i'll show you some remnants of that old european military fort um, but it is said that in the 1960s, Harambe was taken back by its original people in a peaceful revolution. Now we know that that revolution wasn't peaceful because what kind of revolution is peaceful when you're trying to take back the land that's yours? And now Harambe is a booming trading post uh, that they trade all across the land with their port of Harambe right here. So now let's start our tour of Harambe. I'm gonna show you guys around this awesome town. Harambe is divided into three different uh, little sections. You got the main street that goes from the entrance to Harambe all the way back to where the Kilimanjaro Safari entrance is. And then you have the theater district, which is where the Festival of the Lion King is located. And then you have the marketplace where you can get food and snacks. So right here is where we enter into Harambe. And this is the start of the main street. And when we come in here, we can see on the walls that it looks like this place has kind of been like an old military fort. We can see that this place kind of has been around for a while. We can see how the walls used to be with the old military style right here. And then it's kind of decaying and going back to its original form. And then as we get deeper, we get another glimpse of what this military fort would have looked like. We can see back over here off in the distance where the theater district is there's some remnants of the old military fort and there's also a sign back here it says welcome to harambe port of east africa and we can see some little boats that probably have brought some trading goods in the past and we see some trading goods right here and just on the other side of all that we see another sign that says welcome to harambe port of east africa and it actually gives us a little description of everything that's here, kind of inviting you here. Since Harambe is a port town, it's also kind of like a touristy little town. So we got marketplaces, we got hotels, we've got a safari trip. And as we cross this bridge, this is where like the main military presence is felt. Over here, 
and through this way towards the theater district. But as we cross into the main little village part of Harambe, Harambe really comes alive with the music and the vibe. Everyone in Harambe is always upbeat. Uh, during normal times, we could see people singing, dancing. There'd be some acrobatic acts out here. And this is like the main area. I say this is the main area of Harambe right here. We've got the stage, we've got shops and places to eat and drink. Just like right here with the Dawa bar. You can get some cold drinks over here. Actually, what this right here means, Viniwaji Baridi, this means cold drink. And so since Harambe is a port and a touristy type town, there's gonna be a bunch of these little signs around saying try the food, come stay at the hotel. Because when in Harambe, try the Tusker House restaurant. It's the best food in East Africa. And the Tusker House is actually just right over here. And we can see from the buildings that Harambe might not be the most wealthy part of Africa, but they do utilize everything that they have available to them. You can see like some sort of lights right here lighting this up at nighttime. And then just across from the main restaurant, in this area of Harambe, we come to Tamu Tamu Eats and Refreshments. Tamu in Swahili actually means delicious or sweet. While we are here in Harambe, of course, they're gonna be advertising all of the things that they have going on over here. So there's a bunch of posters and signs promoting things that you can see over here in Harambe, like art, theater, the safari. And even though the main military presence, I feel is felt over here on the bridge, there still is some presence felt throughout the rest of Harambe. Like right here, this building kind of looks like a military style fort. And actually, as we come over here next to Tamu Tamu Refreshments, we can see that the Harambe Fort was erected in 1420. But as we come into this building, we can see that kind of nature has taken over the fort. And it, the fort presence really isn't felt anymore. We've got the trees overgrown vines coming through it and so since this is a port town and a tourist town they need a hotel and the hotel is located over here we'll get a better glimpse of the hotel when we go around the theater district but this is hotel burudika not too long ago harambe was home to a band called burudika they would play right over here they were awesome uh, unfortunately, they are no longer in Harambe. If you look up in Harambe, you can see how the residents of Harambe really use their surroundings. We see up here, they've got some clothes hanging on a clothes wire above the Harambe Port Authority. I'm guessing this is where the uh, cops hang out. And of course, Harambe has a place to sell all their goods that they've been creating. The Mombosa Marketplace we can see that some actual craftsmen from Africa have been working on these. These are handcrafted pieces of wooden art. And inside, they've got their traditional African art as well. We've got some traditional African warrior swords. And the Mombosa Marketplace is actually in a building. It's called the Mkubwa House. Built in 1781 and restored in 1992, the Mkubwa house means the big house. Just across from the Mombosa marketplace, there's a little coffee shop. Right now it's not open, but this coffee shop is called the Kusafiri Coffee Shop and Bakery. And if we actually look, Kahawa, that means coffee, chai, that means tea. And then at the very end of the main street, we walked all the way down this way, we'll find a few more little fruit shops and some more snacks. And then at the end, We've got Kilimanjaro Safaris, which is the main attraction here in Harambe. So the Kilimanjaro Safari isn't actually the only way to see animals here in Harambe. You can come over here to the Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail where you can see some things like apes, okapi, and hippos. So with the exit of the safari, that kind of concludes this whole main street area. 
Now let's come take a look at the marketplace. Now the Harambe marketplace is the newest portion of Harambe. This was added about uh, five years ago in 2015. Um, but over here in the Harambe marketplace, you can actually come to the train. There's a train over here in Harambe, which will take you to Rafiki's Planet Watch, which is not part of Africa though. So over here in the Harambe market, we're gonna find a lot of different styles of painting. We're gonna find a lot of different art all along the walls and in the streets. Like right here, we can see a very familiar guy. And who wants to guess what this means? This is obviously a tribute to the Lion King with Simba and Nala right here. This actually says, can you feel the love tonight? So in the Harambe marketplace, we can actually enter back into the main shop which connects over to the main street. But the main part of the Harambe market is right over here. This is where you can come and get all sorts of different food and drinks. Established in 1980, that's as far as the story goes, but this was actually built in real life in 2015. Unfortunately, the Harambe marketplace is closed right now where we can come and get some drinks and food regularly, but right now it's not open. But there's a, a few different places actually, and I love the architecture over here in the Harambe marketplace. We can kind of still see that old military fort style, but we can also see that they have added some new buildings like right here, which isn't really part of that uh, military style that they had. And this is the type of art that we'll see over here in the marketplace. There's a bunch of bikes over here for some reason. I'll show you guys some more in a little bit. But this actually right here means fresh eggs. So if you're looking for any eggs while you're over here in Harambe, you know where to come get them. And like I had mentioned earlier, the people who are from Harambe may not have the most money, but they sure do utilize everything that they have as you can see there's chairs from all kinds of different materials whatever they can gather up to make some chairs and a table and we can see how that the trash cans are rusting and the walls look like they're coming apart this might have been part of the old european fort so i told you that there's a lot of bicycles over here uh this is actually bicycle land i guess this is a repair shop for bicycles maybe bicycles are the major form of transportation in harambe clean water might be hard to come by for people in harambe so they have a big water well right here maji means water and like i mentioned this is a port and tourist town so they're still going to be advertising for everything that they have here inclu including hotel burudika and over here we see that the gorilla falls exploration trail just a minute away and that's all of Harambe Market, this area right here. And now, let's go explore the last area of Harambe, which is the theater district. And sprinkled throughout the whole village, there's gonna be a bunch of African craftsmen creating some beads and other different styles of African art. And just to the left of the main area in Harambe, we're gonna pass by the Dawa Bar and the Tusker House to come to the theater district we're gonna pass by some more remnants of the old European military fort and we can get a better view of Hotel Burudika which is right here it connects all this way to the other side on the main street I'm not sure exactly what this big structure is but I'm guessing this is part of the military fort because this doesn't look like traditional African uh, style building this I'm assuming is a lookout for the military because they even had their little canyon right here look out onto the water see if any invaders are coming and actually in the theater district we will still find a lot of art a lot of African art like over here by the Tusker House restaurant this is the back side of it we see a bunch of different styles of African masks and if you come back over here this is Hotel Burudika you, if you were quiet, you can hear certain things going on. You can hear things on the main street over there as well. But it's a little bit harder because it's more congested, a lot more people talk. And apparently this area of Harambe, the theater district, is the old town of Harambe. This right here is the Ubongo, the center of learning. But as we can see, the big attraction here in the theater district is going to be the Harambe Theater, which is home to the show, the festival of the Lion King. But we can see that the theater is still home to a lot of the European fort 
style architecture like up here especially it looks like a european fort and same right here because if we look right behind us this is where like that, that main stronghold was i guess but if we keep going past the theater we actually see one more one more building and this is the main building right here the harambe house now if we see these letters below harambe house Telathini Natatu, that means 33. This right here is the Club 33 location for Animal Kingdom. And also across from the Harambe House, this is where you can come to meet Mr. Matumbo to go on a wonderful fishing tour, which will be located just upstairs. All right, Asante, everybody. Thank you for coming along with me on this little adventure around Harambe, AKA Africa here in animal kingdom my favorite land in any disney park the theming the backstory everything about this land i love it i love the attraction it's my favorite attraction kilimanjaro safari if you didn't know that but hopefully you guys were able to learn something on this little adventure maybe you learned a few swahili words here and there maybe you learned a little bit about the backstory and hopefully next time when you hear animal kingdom you can appreciate this land a little bit more and thank you to Joe Rody and all the Imagineers who created Harambe Africa here in Animal Kingdom because it's amazing. It's probably one of the best lands Disney's ever created. And when you're here or at any other land, take your time. Don't just try to rush through it. Don't just try to go to attraction to attraction. Take your time and look around because there's a lot of diff there's a lot of little things that people miss by just rushing through these lands. There's a lot of cool things that you can see. Let me know if you want me to do this for any other lands in any of the other Disney parks. So of course, if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below, follow my social medias, and thank you all very much for watching. It's kind of fun to do the impossible, and I'll catch you on the next video. Kwaheri.